Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Balls review of the Chefin Herb Wand. This is a very interesting product that I thought I'd review, but it infuses your oil with herbs and then you take this, use it as a brush and brush whatever meat you're cooking with or whatever you want to brush with herbs. So you can see the example right here is you, you put the herbs in here and then uh, you just dip it in the oil and then you rub your, I think that's a turkey or chicken, and uh, it's as easy as that. So let me just read a little bit of this. Herbal basing brush, brush. Use with woody herbs such as rosemary and thyme to spread sauces, oils, or butter. Flavorful basting brush, great for meats, vegetables, and breads. Insert herbs into the wand, twist to lock into place, fill tray with oil, dip in oil or sauce, gives a subtle herb flavor. Wand is top rack dishwasher safe. All right, so this is a very unusual product. Thought I'd review it. Let me know if you think this is a useful product. This is kind of like, this reminds me of something you get as a gift uh, for the holidays and then never use. Or maybe even a, like a wedding gift or something like that. Okay, so it's nice that it has these little feet so you can put it on the table and it just doesn't go anywhere. So that's actually kind of nice. And we have some uh, olive oil here. Putting that down. And then some rosemary, and here we go. So I'm gonna stick it in the brush, twist, like so, I'm just twisting. And it might need a little bit more. This is kind of like one of those products that <laughs> you'd never use by yourself. It's just kind of maybe something to impress your friends when you have guests over. I mean, the smell is amazing. I really like the smell of rosemary. Uh, it smells great. So let me just clip this brush, or quote unquote brush. And now, I kind of microwave this chicken just so I don't have to cook it so long, but I'm gonna dip it in the oil. All right, get that all in there and brush the chicken. All right, and so the real test will be whether the rosemary, um, you know, flavors the chicken when I after I cook it. So I'm going to cook this for a few minutes, just cook it all the way through. But it's nice, uh, you know, the rosemary is actually staying in place in the Chef and Herb Wand. So that's kind of the first test. It actually works that way. It's just like, wouldn't you rather just put rosemary and cook it with that rather than brush it? I guess you could brush it while you're cooking, but yeah, it's a nice brush. I mean, it's got a metal piece right here. This is a nice uh, plastic wand, good quality. It says, has a Chef and logo right here. So it's, it's, it is a nice looking uh, item, and it does definitely does look cool. I mean, this is something I don't think I've ever seen before before, before I saw this. And uh, so brush it with the rosemary oil. Just brush it a little bit more. I'm going to cook it and then give it a taste test. So here we go. All right, so I have my rosemary chicken right here. Just took it off the pan. And now for the taste test. Here we go. And it's good. Let me taste another bite, but I don't really taste the rosemary. Let me taste another piece right here. So I might just taste a slight, slight hint of rosemary, but not that much. I mean, just putting that one leaf on here, let me taste it. Yeah, I mean, obviously that gives it a lot more flavor, but um, yeah, so I think this definitely falls in the line of novelty. Um, it's going to give it maybe a really subtle flavor of rosemary, and you definitely can keep brushing it as it's cooking, so that's probably the, the goal of this. Um, maybe it's not just one time. All right, so do I recommend the Chef and Herb Wand Herbal Basting Brush? The answer is I'm on the fence. If you entertain a lot, if you are... Uh, you know, if you cook a lot, I would say go for it. I mean, I think this is a niche item that's only going to be useful for a very select minority of people. I think most people can live without it. So, 
Thanks for watching my videos. If you want to support them, you can go to patreon.com slash 9malls. I just searched Patreon for 9malls. Alright, thanks for watching.